Good afternoon, I'm Kyle, hello. Welcome to Dalton's Wadkin. Today I'm gonna to take you through the Elcon D vertical panel saw. Now technically the D is the entry level vertical panel saw from Elcon, but it's well equipped with a range of features and accessories to work in an industrial environment. It incorporates all the same manufacturing, frame and construction techniques as the rest of the range. It makes the Elcon D a great space saving, low cost and safe panel sizing solution. I'll take you around and show you some of the features. So, frame sizes and capacities. The Elcon D has a 60 mil cutting depth. This allows you to cut one panel or multiple sheets or panels up to 60 mil. It's available in four standard configurations. The machine we're looking at now is a 155, so it's 1550 tall by 3.3 meters long. You can also get the 3.3 meter length machine in a 135, so 1350 tall, and a 185 for 1850 tall. The fourth and final configuration is 2150 high by 4.3 meters long for your extra jumbo size sheets. The frame itself is a fully self-supporting design constructed from robust modular components with a high precision guidance bar. Elcon's unique manufacturing process ensures tension-free fitting of the guidance bar, resulting in reliable, lifelong cutting to an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters per meter. So as with all the other Elcon models in the range, the D is specified with an automatic moving back frame. The moving back frame can be powered pneumatically or electronically. This machine is powered electronically, so no compressed air supply needed. I'll just show you that as we put it in line with the strips. Your material is supported by the plastic strips. Obviously, sometimes if you're cutting horizontally, your blade is going to coincide with the strips, and to save you cutting into the strips, the back frame shifts out of the way automatically. This requires no input at all from the operator. It's done all automatically by the machine. As standard, the D is equipped with a series of transport rollers for your material to help load your material without damaging it. You've got the entry roller and then the material transport rollers on the base of the machine. These are easily accessed by the foot pedal down on the left-hand side of the machine. So rollers are up and in position now. I'm just going to grab a board. And it just makes moving your material nice and easy along the length of the machine. Once in the desired position, you would just drop the rollers down and you're ready for cutting. So when you're cutting small work pieces, you can use the mid rail fence from the middle of the machine uh, to stop the operator having to fatigue and bend down and use the bottom of the machine. This is in three parts, which I'll go down and pull out for you now. So three parts along the machine and easily released. It's a real strong construction, nice and easy. So the saw head, the Elcon D has a four kilowatt, 5,100 RPM motor, which ensures nice, smooth, precise cutting. You can cut vertically or horizontally, nice and easy to rotate 90 degrees. Just pull the little toggle to the side and rotate over. Do you want to go back to vertical? Straight back over. The saw blade is fully enclosed with a pressure shoe, which provides additional protection when cutting. The panels are also kept firmly secured against the back frame while the dust is captured directly above the cutting line, which provides superior extraction. So if you're doing a lot of horizontal strip cutting, the Elcon D has a strip cutting device as standard. You simply pop it on the side of your saw beam where you have the measuring scale, set to your desired measurement and lock in position. You then place the roller, the, the, the bearing, on top of your panel and you've got the set measurement so you can make quick, accurate strip cuts to the repeat of your last cut previously taken. So the Elcon D as standard is fitted with a double cut scoring facility. So if you need to cut veneers, laminates or any face materials, Elcon don't use a scoring blade, we use the double cut scoring. We've got a video on that, so if you want to watch that, go check it out. So we've got two independent measuring stops on the Elcon D, both manually set and adjusted. So for example, we've got them both set at 500 mil now. So when cutting vertically, you'd be achieving a 500 mil workpiece. If you wanted to add on a meter, you would unlock the beam and take it to the meter mark, lock in place. And then if you wanted to cut 2.5 meters, again, you would unlock and take it down to the two meter mark. 
and these can be flipped away when they're not being used. And they're also nice and easily adjusted. And they go all the way up to 1300. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to discuss in further detail or book a demonstration on an Elcon vertical panel saw, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Cheers.